Hello friends, welcome to the PC Duo Kimberly channel. Today we are going to have an important video on to choose a career as a geologist. Why we want to choose a geology as my career? So here in this video, what you are going to see now, first we try to know the subject, try to understand. Then we will think, you start thinking on this subject, whether you are going to go on this branch, whether this branch is very important one, whether you're going to like it out, then once you like, then you can choose this as a career as a geologist. So here there are the number of questions will be there in your mind when you're going to choose any subjects about your BSc. Then here when you're going to make out as a geology you're, you're going to take as a one of the option then you have to see that how to become a geologist yes you have to first have to have the bsc degree then msc after after the uh, graduation also you can go for complete examination so many things are there so that is the one thing that how you're going to become a geologist that is the simply you have to take a subject and the three years and uh, in a final as a principal subject if you take it out you will be become as a geologist then is geology is a good career in a path that is a very important question and here it is a very very important that's why we have to see this important video then what are the career opportunities are there in your path then you have to see through the eyes of a geologist so a bird eye view i'll try to give you how the geologists work, what exactly they are going to make, where they, uh, this subject will be choose, then why geologists study the earth, why to study a geology, and what does a geologist do? These are the questions are there. Try to we find out the answers for these questions. Once you uh, get this one, then you can choose a career as a geology. But here we are giving you that a graduation cap is on a black color. Now I have shown purposely here as a red color so that that will be a question mark whether you want to take or not. That is a danger sign. Whenever a danger sign is there, then you have to take a precautions. So what are the precautions? You have to know in and out about that particular subject, whether you choose a geology, a botany, geography, or physics, chemistry, maths, in and out of that subject, you should know. Yes, we'll start this. I'm Dr. Sajid Hundekar, Associate Professor and Head, Department of Geology, Pune College Arts, Commerce, Science, Camp Pune, Maharashtra. Yes, let's start. What is a geology? Yes, that is a very first important basic question. What is a geology? Geology is what? Two words, geo and logy. Geo means earth, logy is science. So simple. If you make out the definition, it is a branch of science deals with the study of earth. That is a simple definition. If you go again in a deeper side, then it is the branch of science deals with internal structure of the earth. When you're going to see from the surface, if you go in detail studying the rocks, whatever the hard rocks are there, then if you want to study them, then that will be the branch will be called as a geology. And if you from the surface, uh, if you go on the atmosphere, then that will be the geography. So geology and geography, they are interconnected. So geologists also become the atmosphere. That is the whatever meteorologists are there. There also we have the geologists or geographies are required. So, but most of the time, geologists will be mainly deal with the internal structure of the earth. That is the very, very important one. And that is the interesting one. And that is the practical application. Because any whatever things we require, we are going to get it from the earth itself. So in that, what is the earth is there? The earth is a made up of rocks. What is a rocks? Rocks and aggregates of minerals. Rocks are aggregates of minerals. What is the minerals are there? Minerals are having a five important uh, parameter. If these parameters are fulfilled by any subjects, subjects, then that will be called as a mineral. Mineral is a solid. It is a naturally occurring. Second point is, it is a naturally occurring. Third one, it is a homogeneous, formed by inorganic processes, having definite chemical composition and definite atomic structures and formed by inorganic processes in the nature. Once 
any one of this condition has been fulfilled then that will be called as a middle and research papers or whatever the data we have that geology has been studied from the very old time so this is the oldest branch in this branch now it has been uh, developed uh, very vast and now in the geology you are going to study physics chemistry biology then mathematics statistics so all the different branches we are going to study in this one so this branch has become a very vast and due to this this branch has been now subdivided into sub branches and there are the number of branches are there so in this simply what we are going to make out the brief if you make out the geology where we are going to have that is the origin we can study the origin of earth then uh, the how the solar system has been formed planets that will be there in the uh, geography also you are going to study in the geology also going to study then we are going to compare the what we have the rocks which are there what is the ages are there we have made the systematic geological time scale we have prepared and we started knowing what are the important minerals which are there which we use for the industrial purpose earlier one we are just using the metallic one nowadays we are using the non metals also so each mineral we should know and where these minerals are formed in which particular age they have been formed so once we know that then we start uh, scratching our area that is the uh, whatever the scanning of say example in india we are there then in india we are going to scan very important mineral oil and natural gas that is one second one we are a void of uh, uh, gold silver copper uranium these mineral we don't have so we have to scan this one so whether the wealth of this country will be become a richer one and in the economy that is the currency wise you are uh, as compared to the dollar our rupees will be become a stronger one so that will be whichever the country's wealth is there it is based on the mineral what are the reservoirs of the minerals are there and whatever the stock which is there in available in your central bank that is the gold one so here we are going to see the complete study the origin of the earth then from there how this rocks have been uh, processed how there have been changes that is the evolution part then chemistry part every part we are going to make out and we want to study the in future also how you can uh, store the energy and uh, in the future also how the our uh, generation can use that energy so renewable non renewable resources we can find out so geologists will have the important knowledge about the energy and mineral resources that is a very very important one so that will be there nowadays we have the environmental impact global warming is there yes so there also the geologists are playing a uh, important one then nowadays continuously in uh, uh, assam whether west bengal or bihar the cyclones are coming out and uh, not only cyclones there will be floods also, also taking place regularly so there will be a disaster management system how we can control these floods which are going to occur so there also the geologists are going to play a vital role and the whatever the inputs which will be there the signal which we are going to get it out by the warning system we can aware the uh, uh, country men so like volcanoes earthquake hurricanes all these are there these have been very usefully used in the western countries or in the usa or canada but in india we don't Uh, adopt that because we it will require a lot of funds are required and the interest of the government is required to give the importance to these uh, important uh, disasters which are happening every time in india so that has to be there so geologists are playing a, a vital role into this when we want to study how these earthquakes are going to happen what are the precautions has to taken out so nowadays everyone knows that uh, indian government has published uh, a map of uh, zones which have been made number 1 number 2 3 4 5 zones we have made so in whichever the zone you have been staying so what are the precautions we have to take out what are the construction which are going to take place in the, in this area what type of material we are going to use for the building so everything will be uh, defined and there will be norms have been given but now the 
people are also not uh, following the norms and uh, whatever the corporations people are there for the certification they also do the proper work then this will be a very good uh, uh, thing will be happen in uh, india that we can minimize the whatever the uh, disasters which have been happening in india and lot of money has been wasted into this and we are going to know the earth's material their structure process that will be we should know that if anything is happening in the future then what will be the going to make out so now i can see here there are the so many branches are there depending upon the hazards and uh, damages that will be a vital role for as compared to india fuel minerals natural hazards yes damage control techniques which will be required for to protect the earth environment as well as the climatic conditions of uh, india and there are the branches which are there these are the huge branches jo informatics now it is in a uh, dim most of the demand one where geography as well as geology subjects will be required if you do it mtech then it is well and good phd it is a best one then the meteorology petrology stratigraphy geophysics geochemistry these are the advanced branches where allied branches are there physics with chemistry with you can make out structural geology seismology volcanology geomorphology crystallography gemology gems which are there the whatever the rares and semi precious minerals are there especially diamonds ruby sapphire these are come under the gemology and india is number one uh, exporter of the uh, gems which we have been designing and exporting now engineering geology where we are going to have the dams or construct the roads tunnels everything will come under the engineering geology then hydrogeology comes under the water uh, problem then sedimentology economic geology now in this economic geology all economic minerals are there and now this this branch has been divided now coal has been made separated petroleum has been separated so like this now one by one the branches has been made because of these uh, branches has a wide importance and that's why these branches has made a separate category oceanography petroleum geology marine geology disaster management these are there in addition to the geostatistics uh, geostats geomaps these are also the advanced uh, courses are there remote sensing is there so that has not been added here the remote sensing is also a important branch which will be required to assess whatever the impact or whatever the things which are going to happen on the surface of the earth then we can make out early and once the damage is there how much damage has been done and that will be calculated how much uh, loss will be there for the properties that will be calculated on that particular uh, geo satellites which will be uh, sending out so why to study the geology yes that, that is the whatever the changing yes every country want to become the superpower so india is also uh, uh, try to become a superpower because we should have the more important one that whatever we have the resources are there the uh, main resource is there that is the we have the whatever our population is there up uh, 50 60% population is less than 35 years so we have a very good task force this force is there and with this utilization of that force we can study the earth we can dominate and we can rule the uh, world that will be there so china india as well as uh, america these are the three countries are there they are going to become the future which have been projecting now china and india may maybe become one or two number so that will be based on how we are going to use our uh, resources and uh, how much we can uh, flourish technology we are done so for this we re- we want to know our area that is what how does uh, processes are there what is the history of our rocks which are there what are the composition of the rock what is structure atmosphere ocean environment everything of our area we have to scan and we have to utilize that material and we become the self sufficient nowadays 80% of the oil and natural gas we have been procuring from the iran this is a main supplier is there then saudi is the second one then oman then qatar like this we are going to depend upon the others just whatever our resources are there they are just 
so here this is a very very important one so we want to focus on ourselves what are the areas are there and what are the rocks which are there and what minerals we can find out similarly whatever the threads which are there that is volcanic activity we don't have any much activity which has been happening last 100 years then earthquakes are happening landslides are been a normal phenomena in northeast area floods are the normal uh, common one in the northeast area or uh, central india part so these are the things are there so we have to know that these branches has to given a flourish so geologists has to do this one they have to sit together they have to give a, a constructive problem so that in the future there should not be any uh, floods or the cyclones which will be uh, taken place in this area if it is there then it should be a uh, minimized the losses which are there that should be minimized the whatever the casualties are there that has to be minimized so that is the meticulously the planning has to done and this planning which were there the geologists are playing a vital role in the planning so this is what we have as a career as a geo scientist what we have there are the plenty of opportunities are there advanced great employment prospects are there forecast of excellent geology that is there by enhance opportunities to satisfy the society demands because what we are require is the environment and the minerals these two are required then here we have given a quotation by the T, uh, professor t k biswal the hod the department of earth science iit bombay the study of earth science is highly applicable oriented and lucrative in the age of increasing demand energy knowledge of earth sciences aid with the advanced search methods provide a chance to explore the once unknown and difficult resources of for coal petroleum automatic uh, automatic minerals and the geothermal energies because the future we are going to project that the geothermal energies wind energies are there geothermal energies are there then solar energies this will be there so these energies which are there that will be the future we are going to make out now career scope in india as well as in abroad as a geologist what we are there our science is a vast subject it is a very big one deal with everything related to earth it is more scope and demand it is role is main deal with environmental protection it is mainly deal with the resources management it is mainly deal with the minerals resources it is mainly deal with oil exploration and similar jobs will be there so that will be there now here what is there geologists geologists go into the field collect the samples they will make the field work whether solid or liquid whichever the thing is are they gather the sample they analyze what the things which are the equipment which are required the fill instrument fill work they can do data analysis processing research development all these things will give you the data and on that basis of the data we can study the what are our resources are there and what we are there as compared to the other countries and our, what will be our economy will be there next 10 years or 20 years we can project it out and slowly we cut down the imports and we can start exporting our imported uh, finished goods or the minerals to the other country so that we are enrich in the currency as the dollar which will be the enrich so that our currency will be become as compared to the dollar one to one yes now day to day we have one dollar is equivalent to 72 rupees so we are been projecting it will be in the next 10 or 15 years we have been planning that it should be comes around 35 to 40 rupees but for this lot of efforts has to be required lot of uh, investment has to be done by the government and a proper planning and an important one we require a good leader who will be vision should be clear and next 15 years 10 years he has to plan in a such a way that the whatever the progress will be there of our country it will taken place in all resources as right from geology every branch has to be focus and has to be done properly so geology and earth science career and jobs there are numerous tools and equipment to perform various tasks 
magnifying glasses, gloves, rubber boots, axe, hammer, compass, mining tool. This will be the required uh, material for the field work which are there. Then GPS system, drones, CAD, computerized visualization system. These are the now new, new techniques which we are coming. Earlier one we are taking only the clinometer compass. Nowadays we are taking out the GPS in the field. So and we are using the remote sensing, GIS, we are using mapping, we are collecting samples which are then processing out and all the de details we have been making out. Now, in India, in which particular organization we are going to get the jobs? These are the central government organizations, organizations are there where a geologists are required. Central Groundwater Board, that is CGWP that is the groundwater uh, central groundwater board then the geological survey for India short form is GSI coal India oil and natural gas ONGC mineral exploration authorities then Hindustan zinc and defense and other paramilitary forces so there the geologists are required to run these departments whatever their activities are there so they have been going to done by this department where the geologists are required then what will be there what you are going to become geographer geologist oceanographer meteorologist seismologist then completion technologist or processing geophysicists researchers these are the key positions these are the Positions are there where you can become as a geologist, whether geographer or oceanographer, meteorologist or complete completion of technology. So you are going to use all the technology which are there, processing, uh, geophysics or researchers. These are the areas are there, geology, geophysics, engineering, environmental geologists and government scientists for the US uh, Geological Survey of India, NOAA, NASA and US. These are the important uh, key positions which are there. They are in good demand in US. Especially in the US you can make out the NASA which are there. You can see now they are focusing now for the earth how much they have been given? 41% has been increased. That means the 40% 41% the whatever the focus of that uh, NASA's uh, expenses are there. They are only on the ex earth's exploration you can see now it has been cut down. Planetary is a 3%, Heliphysics 10% and Astrophysics is 10%. So now geology has given a key important factor where uh, from 2009 to 2016, this is a data graph has been got it from there. So you can see now this is the important one. Now skilled geologists in earth science post which are very shortage is there in the foreign uh, countries. The PR and immigration of foreign countries degree in earth sciences geology related subject will be very beneficial so mineral exploration mining especially around the world geologists are hot cake like a hot cakes are there so we have to do and one or two years if you have the experience and you can go out of, out of the uh, any part of the world for as a mining geologist so here the next one list of countries the skill shortage will be there we are given on the basis of the countries also so that you can get the uh, important uh, highlights say example canada geoscientists geophysics uh, geological engineers oceanographer meteorologist climatologist oscillancy geotechnical engineers environmental engineers new zealand geologists geo researchers earth science technicians uk geologists geoscientists geophysicists geochemists, geotechnical engineers. So these are the what we have been done. Now the next one is there. Irrespective of the country, every department need a geology. And us, science, scientists, or research analysis, the top uh, position which are there, you can see now in this, engineering geologists. So engineering geology are the, I just uh, we have discussed that, whatever the civil engineering projects are there, there these people are required in the designing environmental joy whichever these are linked together whichever you are trying a uh, planning uh, engineering uh, project so we have to see what are the related environmental 
aspects about the geology so these will be the environmental aspect will be there so all these condition will be there so these people will be work as over there geo hydrologists there is a scanty of water rainfall once it is come down to uh, less than uh, 90 percent then there is a havoc will be there in the country some of the areas are very scanty rainfall is there in Maharashtra itself then we find out that Latur especially in that there is a scarcity of water is there then what will be future next 10 years what we are going to plan out so we require the geologists they can go over that area find out the groundwater level area how can recharge that area then if it is not uh, recharged then how you are going to compensate from the other areas so geologists are going to play a vital role geomorphologists are there how this glaciation has taken place erosion there were denudation which has been taking place so to eliminate that we require the geomorphologists also hydrologists mineralogists they are required to identify the water and the mineral resources that is a very very crucial one minerals metallic one as well as non metallic one because uh, competitive competition is there and now if you want to remain in a world competition whatever your product should be there it should be cheaper so we should have the local product if you use it out then we are going to form any particular product the cheapest one so that you can sell. so that will be there so for this we require such things will be required from the geologists then the marine geologists play a vital role to study the oceans and its current streams then petroleum geologists that is a very very important one nowadays we are been started scanning our all the marine uh, areas which are there right from we have started uh, Gujarat and we are going to go uh, till bottom Kanyakumari then up to West Bengal we have been scanning that anywhere we can get the oil so petroleum geologists are very very vital one whether can get natural oil natural gas that is a very important one offshore also we are going to start on is there Paleontology. this is also a very important branch where we can find out the evolution of plants and animal so these people also know study in a very important uh, as a research one seismologists are required in each state so that wherever the earthquakes are happening we have to have the remote center uh, the geo seismology uh, seismographs are there they have to study the monitor and they have to give the signals so that is also required stratigraphers are a very important one to study the stratigraphy of all area where should we get the important uh, source that is tertiary rocks especially for oil and natural gas so we require the stratigrapher we require the geologists that uh, in the school colleges now school we don't have a geology but slowly they are going to start it out now gsi have been planned now on the 7th onward they are going to start a geology as a subject in a school then automatically 11 12 now 11 12 also there will be out of 100 just one or two colleges they having this particular subject and similarly same condition is there for this uh, uh, geology in the uh, degree course out of uh, Pune University just had a hardly four department four colleges are there where we have the department is there so in future we find that there will be more department may come out but for this the what we is important is that we require the fund is required from the central government and so as well as from the state government to uh, establish this department and the people who are going to work in this area the employment has to be given so now whatever the job prospects are there environmental consultant or remote sensing specialist groundwater specialist mining and marine engineers environmental scientists these are the very very clean areas then marine geologists petroleum engineers geochemists geophysics oceanographer environmental lawyer also nowadays we are going to have now how to make a career in a geology or our science that is after the 10 plus 2 if you pass the 10th if you got any college in that if it geology is there opt the geology if you don't have then after the 12th you have to opt for the one of the subject for your bachelor degree and three years you have to complete now uh, dual degree will be there now in a new uh, system 
we have to make out or there will be some integrated program is also there iister prepare five years dual bs ms degree program is there in our science so you have to see and you have to go to into this department where these are the well established center department center university departments are there where funds are very good and there will be a lot of opportunities are there for the research now to go for pursue uh, any pg so for this pg i will would suggest you can go first for the get exam prepare for jm uh, that is je get exam you have to prepare in addition you have to go for abroad for this what is required your 10 marks 12 marks bsc marks above 75% your record should be good one and if you are there in the final year so in the uh, second year of bsc you have to go for gre preparation tofel or ilts give this examinations in advance for this giving this examination what is required first you should have your passport your parents has to have a desire that my son or daughter has to go for further study in abroad so what are the conditions are there you have to be uh, don't have any uh, home sickness problem yes that is a very important now there are number of scholarships are available 100% 100% scholarships are available to go abroad for your any degree right from after 12th graduation post graduation or research or post doc there are number of uh, countries are there governments are there they have been announces the scholarship i'll take some few names now so we can uh, those who are there netherland is giving then japan is giving then qatar government is giving saudi government is giving then uh, slova uh, 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 norway is giving the plenty of there are there their list is a huge one most of the european countries especially for the pune university people we have if you want to go you know europe anywhere there is a type is there uh, between the pune university and european countries that uh, there will be a iramundi scholarship so you can go the exchange program over there in this scholarship so now the similarly the Uh, if you want to go to the germany now tuition fee is way out so just we have to have the food and accommodation is there so the uh, if we have the that particular one or your parents are planning to go abroad so they have to start in the beginning and they can start making out the planning so planning has to do it in the beginning right from your first standard onwards parent has to monitor their child and see their studies how they are doing where is their problem is there where they are lacuna is there they should not have any uh, math phobia so every time they have to give him the support take it to the expert teachers and whatever their mistakes are there then so your child should be more than 80% marks 90 about known requirement 80 to 90 it is more than sufficient if your students uh, child is getting this marks then the progress is very nice so give him the reading the books english literature books has to be read out so the literature also very nice so grammar is also become very phrases will be known properly so these are the thing you have to be planned out and whatever you have been uh, making the saving so make out that and find out the uh, resources i am there now you can any time you can contact my Uh, youtube channel that is pc joe kimber light in future i am going to upload the videos on 100% scholarship for abroad so you can use it out that and after graduation there is one important uh, uh, opportunity is there you can apply for upsc examination upsc or mpsc there will be a geologist exam is there then uh, is ips any one you can make out there is a geology is a one of the subject is there so if you want to be go for a competitive examination then after your 12th itself 3 years you have to plan properly study very hard and you know one or two attempts you have to clear the upsc examination so for this a dedication is required interest is required proper planning is required everything has to be do it properly if you do it at the last moment then you're going to lose your uh, age and unnecessarily you're going to become higher now i'll give you one simple example in a railway there will be 
uh, applications for the fourth class class E people. There a PhD student uh, who has a PhD, he has applied for that course. So you see that what is his goal? He has not having any goal. Right, starting from 12, he has studied BSc, MSc, then he has done is uh, a PhD, but after that he is going for a job who is a fourth class. For this 10 class, people are required, but now a PhD student uh, who has already having a PhD, he has applied for that course. So see now where we have the focus, proper planning, this the thing parents has to be think properly now, higher studies, that is very, very important. BSc in geology is there, then you can go for MSc in geology. If we have the combination physics and mass is there up to your SY standard, then you can go for geophysics, that is a very important one. Or you can go for applied geology. So petrology, seismology, geochemistry, mineralogy, gemology, mining geology, marine geology, geophysics. These are the applied uh, branches are there where you can up, go for higher studies. B.Sc. in Art Science, Environmental Studies, that is also there. Honors is there. B.Sc. Arts, B.A. with uh, Geology, Art Science, Environmental Science. These are the number of uh, will be there and these are the demands is there. Now, geology and earth sciences job, which are the jobs will be there, say that. Again, I'm going to give you the quote, you the various departments are there, GSI, ONGC, SAIL, GMDC, that is Gujarat Mineral Development Corporation. So Rajasthan Development Corporation, similar one, Karnataka Development Corporation. Like this, everyone has their own state department is there. Then uh, government oriented queries is there. BPCL Oil is there, Natural Mineral Development Corporation, Odisha Mining Corporation, Rajasthan State Mines and Minerals, Tamil Nadu Mineral Limited, DRDO is there, that is a central, uh, very important one. Then ISRO is there. Then if you want to study in uh, colleges, important colleges of uh, India or universities, then North Maharashtra University, because we are there in the Maharashtra, so, North Maharashtra University, Jalgaon, then Sand Gadge Baba, Amravati University, then President, uh, Presidency University, Kolkata, West Bengal, Hans Raj College, New Delhi, uh, St. Xavier's College, Mumbai, Indian Institute of Science, In Education and Research, IISER, that is Kolkata, then Indian Institute of Technology, IIT, Bombay, now it is a Mumbai now. Ferguson College in Pune, where we are there. Indian Institute of Technology, IIT, Kharagpur. Then University of Pune. Then Presidency College, Chennai. Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi. Indian Institute of Technology, IIT, Kharagpur. Government Arts College, Dharampur, Dharampur is there. National Institute of Technology, NITRR, Raipur, Chhattisgarh. And the University of North Bengal, Darjeeling. Then these are the important uh, colleges and departments in India where you can uh, study the geology. The next one, the top universities for geology and earth sciences abroad. Now, first one, whenever you go on to uh, switch outside, first US is there, California Institute of Technology, then MIT, then Stanford University, University of Cal California. Columbia University, Pennsylvania State University, University of Texas. These are the departments, universities are there where we are going to study. Then Harvard University, University of Arizona, Princeton University, University of Michigan, University of Washington, University of California, that is San Diego, then University of uh, California, Santa Barbara. These are the two different universities are there itself. Then in Canada, University of Toronto, then University of British Columbia, University of Alberta, McGill University, University of Victoria, Dalhousie University, University of Waterloo, University of Ottawa, and Carleton University, ETH Zurich. If you come to the Europe now, ETH Zurich, University of Oxford, University of Cambridge, University of Leeds, University of Bristol, Utrecht University, Imperial College of London, University of Edinburgh. Europe, UCL, University of Bergen, University of Oslo, TU Delft, University of Compagen, LMU Munich, 
लून यूनिवर्सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मैनचेस्टर स्टॉक होम यूनिवर्सिटी डरहैम यूनिवर्सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ टोक्यो इफ यू टेक द एशिया पैसिफिक द टोक्यो यूनिवर्सिटीज देन ऑस्ट्रेलियन नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हांगकॉन्ग पर्किंग यूनिवर्सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मार्बोन चाइना यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ जियो साइंसिस एंड कोटो यूनिवर्सिटी दैट इज देयर देन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ वेस्टर्न ऑस्ट्रेलिया नैयांग टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ न्यू साउथ वेल्स चाइनीज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हांगकॉन्ग हांगकॉन्ग पॉलिटेक्निक यूनिवर्सिटी मोनास यूनिवर्सिटी जेम्स क्यूक यूनिवर्सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ ऑकलैंड यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ ओटागो सो दीज आर द वेरियस यूनिवर्सिटीज आर देयर विच विल बी वर्ल्ड वाइड दीज आर द फेमस वन ना इफ यू ना द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन आर द आस्पेक्ट इज देयर द सैलरीज फॉर द जियोलॉजी एंड अर साइंसेस फॉर ग्रेजुएट what you are going to get out that according to us bureau of labor science statistics geology and earth sciences and industry which is expected to grow next five year this is the projection which has been given by this uh, us bureau of labor that uh, statistics geology and earth science these are the three department uh, industries which are there they are going, uh, jobs are growing next five years more than average percentage it is higher growth pay scale as compared to the other occupations are there geology could start as a fresher will be earning 10000 to 20000 per month 10000 to 20000 that is a us dollar yes so you can make it out multiply it will be 7 lakhs yes 70 rupees make it out then 7 lakh to 14 lakhs will be there on average scale of geologists for any prospect related to geology or science will be 2.5 to 3.5 lakhs will be there in a public sector or private sector in india in foreign countries the median salary for a geologist is 91920 that is annual salary will be there the better scope of earning in government education and research oriented jobs within academia phd students post doc they are going to get a stipend which will be between 40000 to 70000 per year so for the phd there will be 3 years uh, will uh, will be given for post doc with the phd is there then it will be 5 uh, years or uh, post graduation and phd is there 5 years integrated program and in that if you go over there so roughly you are going to get around 2 to 2500 us dollar you are going to get it out as a stipend for the phd student so you have to go for this one for the higher studies abroad so this is what we have now see the very important one nowadays what is happening due to uh, the covid pandemic 19 all world economy has been gone down now jobs are been most of the jobs of the peers, the permanent people has been gone no vacancies are there and now how many years it will be there we also not going to project out so those who are there in now those who are there doing bsc or msc they have to continue till the economy has to grow up so it may take two years it may take three years or it may take five years so nobody knows so you have to plan your studies properly so that once you come out from your uh, studies immediately you can get the jobs so that is a very important one so i hope this is a uh, uh, you have got a one i view from my angle as a geologist now you think on this and you analyze yourself then you have to discuss with your parents then parents if you want to come to discuss with your uh, teachers any subjects whether physics chemistry math geology you are welcome you have to go this has to be done take what are the reviews are there your parents think it out that and then you have to plan and take that particular subject i am not going to say that only take a geology you have to take any subject but this is the way you have to have the summary uh, your planning has to be there what are the gist is there of that subject it should be there i given my view so you might be like or you may not not, not be like so but this is the important uh, message i have to pass on from my side as a teacher as a geology so i thanks yes after uh, coming to the various criterias we have seen the 
all the gist what we are there till the end where the you have to go for the higher education what are the scopes are there and what are you have to make the planning so whatever the questions we have just seen how to become a geologist is the geology is a good career for the path through the eyes of a geologist career opportunities why geologists study earth and why to study a geology and what does a geologist do this questions answer we have been given through this particular video i hope you will enjoy this one if you like this video kindly press the like button share this my video with in your circle share uh, in uh, your uh, friend circles as well as family friends and very important one subscribe my channel so that you can in the future when i am going to uh, upload my uh, in uh, scholarships 100% scholarship program so that you can get that important things and whatever the geology uh, uh, videos are there for the FYBAC I mean I'm preparing now so you can get that also and without fail write down your comments that is a very important one thanks have a nice day a good day